Okay, so this is a continuation. Uh, now, what happens if, um, let's say, the, the, um, we didn't find the password in that list, the first list which we have actually used. Uh, sometimes user's password will not be found in just a predefined list like that. I'm going to close this. We have other options within the intruder. I'm going to clear this. Now, if we go back here, we will see we have short words. We can as well use short words, which would be um, a list of short words that we can still use to brute force this. And if the user password happens to be in here, we will definitely find this. I'm just going to give this a shot, the same injection points. Then I'm going to start this and um, we will see if we're able to find something. This runs pretty fast. And once this is done, we will review the result to see if we have the password in there for the user B. Okay, so the result is back. Uh, it seems like our username, uh, our password is not in the short uh, lists. Well, I had reviewed this, um, it all returned the same. And there's no difference in the length as well. So I'm going to close this. Now um, we have other options. I can still clear this and try maybe some dictionaries or some file names or some directory shortlist or even forcing for specific kinds of forcing, which we'll be looking at later um, for user agents, CGI, script and all the stuff. But for now, we are trying to get the password. So what happens if we switch this around? Now we have a valid password. I'm going to clear this and uh, we want to find maybe valid users. So what we're going to do this time around is we're going to try just getting valid user. So let's try this for random as our username. And I'm going to mark this as my injection points. So I'm injecting for random. So what we're going to do this time around is we're trying to flip the coin. Let's find valid users who happens to be validated within this application. And um, we will go to the payload. Um, we will add a list of um, usernames. Let's see if we have any user within our usernames list that Burpsit provides for us within that application. And I'm going to start this thing. So this thing is going to run crazy, pretty fast. And um, we will review this. Now, again, we want to be looking at the response for anyone that looks different from the default response, which we're seeing as 200, okay, 200, okay. Uh, if we have anyone that deviates from that normal, obviously that would be a valid username within the application. So I will pause this, take some time to look around and then come back to you guys. Okay, so our result is back and we can see that we seem to have um, a 502 here and a 502 here. So this first 502 is valid for user B, which we do know is a valid username. Then there's also a capital user B, uh, which seems like this doesn't handle um, capital uh, uh, capitalization or any form of such. Uh, basically, these two returned um, with a different length and a different status code. So those two obviously would be a valid users. Let's see if we can actually get out of this and try to log in with a capital user B. I'm going to refresh this page. And I'll log in with uh, capital B. And the password was bug. And again, that works pretty fine. Okay. So this uh, is the reverse of brute forcing for the password. Now we're doing for the user. So what else can we do within this? Um, we already know this is an application. We're able to see we can bypass the authentication by brute forcing or forcing, um, right technique to get into the application. What else do you think we can do within this space? Now there's a whole lot that can happen that we'll be looking at from this moment onward. Okay, um, seem to be hitting a dead end. Um, I was trying to use the test PHP uh, von web to test for the SQL injection, but I think it's down for now. I'm not sure why. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be use, um, skipping the injection. I think I'll do that in the next video. Let's pause for maybe hitting directory or something like that. I'm going to go back here and I'm just going to log out of this. I hope this is still running. Okay, this seems to be running still. Okay, um, we're still the user B logged in within here. So let me see if I can actually um just go to the stats um okay it all seems pretty okay now um we can attempt to change password but i'm not gonna do that now okay i'm just gonna reset this and um just so i can have a clean one for out of php all right so let's go back to uh proxy 
and uh, maybe set an intercept for this so we will um, forward this and um, right here we just have any of this now we can work with any of this iframe injection if i click on hack i can actually capture this request but we're not doing this yet so i'm just going to drop this to see it returns error as uh, one way to play around this to see what kinds or what forms of errors are being returned uh, that can help you understand um, how the application is actually handling or behaving so i was going to go into login the php but i think it's is it down um oh yeah my bad i'm just going to stop the intercepts and go to um, login okay so we have our login page now start the intercept again and um, we're going to just log in we already have a username and password right so we do b then log we should be able to capture this and forward this oh, my bad if we forward this we should be able to log in. Oh, wow. Um, just checking again. Um, okay. Okay, great. So we're able to log in. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go capture maybe um, a valid request, uh, probably going somewhere and see if we can use that as an injection point to inject. If I go into the history, we will see a bunch of... Um, requests here there's this login.php one which we sent and we can see the request and the response we can actually render this it's going to give us the page or we can just leave it as pretty with what we're working with okay so i um, also have some posts here you can pretty much see those post requests where we're trying this injection points and just to be sure everything is working pretty fine okay let's go back to our intercept i'm just going to click on maybe one of these um injection okay so i've got the valid request going to put out the php so i'm going to capture this and send to intruder go to my intruder now i'm going to clear everything i do not want to inject the bug um which will be the form where we're going to i want to inject rather this because again i want to brute force for directories so I'm going to select that portal and I'm going to add that. So that's my injection point. It does mean that everything I'm doing will be injecting up uh, in a second. Everything I'm doing will be injecting here to find out other directories that actually sit within this web application. Now, uh, again, we can use the sniper to carry out this injection. So for our payload, we're going to um, go to Firelist. We'll look for payload. Let's use um, the file names, long file name short. There are a bunch of options we can work with, but we'll just work with the file name short. Let's see what we can find within this for now. So we can see a bunch of directories here, which we want to validate if they exist within this application. So we're going to start this thing and um, pretty much run super fast. And all of them returned 404, but this returned 302. So this is like the road path. Let's see if we have any other thing in there. I see, um, give me a second. I see another one here, info. Okay. Then there's a login. Then there's a logout, I think. Um, just looking at the length, looks pretty different. Uh, we will find a couple other ones. There's a secret, wow, interesting. There's a security. Let's, let's go see if uh, I'm going to stop the go back to this i'm going to stop the proxy and let me just check if there is a secrets.php okay i thought i found secrets uh let's give me a second <laughs> go back there and bring up our intruder stuff uh my mouse where's my mouse okay uh Oh, secrets. Okay. There is no S. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. This took us back here. There is also security. So it means it's something we want to look into later. The PHP. This also took us back here. So this is pretty interesting. Okay. Uh, we would want to look into those later because they seem to be valid directories. Then um, we've got a bunch of all this 404, which means we were able to actually see a bunch of them that actually valid. Now, what would 
what can we do with this we can try this again maybe um, i'm going to cancel this let me try doing the same pin but this time around i'm going to use a different payload i'll clear this payload then i'll add um maybe a file name long and let me start this and see how this behaves again this returned almost similar i think um, we will just look through this this is pretty much a longer list so it might take a while to scroll through but trust me you will find those changes um in the length and also in the response which is where you want to look out for to find valid directories uh, i just found some there's a 200 there login there is a 302 there index um it should be the index of php page and there is a 302 here 302 here which uh, aligns with the other ones we've seen before okay i'm going to stop this video here now there are a bunch of other tools you can use to do this like derbosta gobosta um, even though it's made it's a bunch of sweet tools you probably rely on but just say you're working within the framework verb sheet and you also want to be able to brute force for directories or valid path within the application you can do all that using the intruder that's what i'm trying to show you here okay i'm going to stop this record in here then in the third one i'm going to touch some more cool stuff within the intruder and see what we can do with it again okay just before we jump out I i'm tempted to try uh, I see the record is still on. Try some more payloads. I'm going to clear this. Now, within the valid list here, you can see there's an extension, short extension, long file names, file names. Or what if we want to check maybe file names? Um, let's see if we can actually check file names. I'm just going to start this again. See if we have any valid uh, file names. Um, there should be several of them. Um, again, if this list is not the best, you might want to try it. There's a text. Uh, you might want to look for um, downloaded lists that is pretty recent with some good payload. I see there's another 200 updates. Um, there should be a couple of them. So again, your job here is to, I saw a 302 um, logouts. Your job here will be to try as many as possible just so you're able to collect all the valid list i'm going to clear this i'm still going to try something else by stop the video uh so file names directories directories um long directories shorts we're not looking for directories um extensions we're not looking for extensions at the moment oh mm, let's see what else we have here okay pretty much will be around um the file names now um just so before i stop this again you can add lists valid lists here let's say we want to just test if we have some valid list like connect i'm going to add a bunch of them install the php maybe php info i know these are usually valid within the php test then i'm going to add maybe one more training and uh maybe capture then anything like that credits then portal okay so let's test with these dictionaries we supplied i'm going to start this and we can see uh, now from the initial dictionary, we don't have this list, but I'm just using my knowledge of basic PHP. And you can see right off the bat, we've got the uh, connect. It's valid. We can see the request. You can see the response, uh, pretty much valid. We can see install seems valid. PHP info, it's valid. Now, a good way to validate those lists would be to come here and start maybe testing stuff. Again, we can see the PHP info pretty much which will show us some sweet 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 stuff we want to go review uh we can also look at a couple of them like testing training capture capture return 404 i'll be interested in that credits return 302 i would want to look into that as well again uh, this is you testing stuff right okay this took us back to the login page maybe if we have an authenticated session we can actually use that session to brute force against this uh to pause against this to find maybe the secrets in this application. I'll be glad to showcase that somewhere. Then there's also a portal, uh, which we've obviously seen over and over. Okay, so um, what else can we do here? Maybe we want to take advantage of maybe the capture or something. Let's see if we can actually find something within capture. Okay, so still playing around um, before we end this session, we can see that we've validated a couple of these and they seem to exist. Let's say we add some more like, um, restricted file 
upload I know these are usually some of the things you find on restricted file um, upload I think on restricted file upload is one thing that you usually um, have seen in the past okay um, um, let's see the index and let's also add like um, um, a value um, let's see if we have any um, robots okay so let's run this again and see what we will have my scan okay um, robots 404 index 302 okay this should be valid uh, restricted 404 okay unrestricted 302 wow interesting look at that let's go check this guy let's see the respond that returned from this mm. 302 found 302 found let's go check this and see if it's actually there that might be our initial access to actually get a shell on this unrestricted file upload because if we do have this it means i can actually upload interesting i can upload like a php reverse shell if we have any and we should stage a listener net cut listener or so cut or whatever and we should be able to grab a shell back to um, us okay i will go further but that's something i will show as we progress in this series um, but just to show you how we can actually hunt for these directories you can see that if i have a valid list maybe i could go to the internet and call for valid uh, 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 um, files in this classic PHP server we will have a bunch of them we can actually load them in here brush plus against this and we might be shocked to find some very cool stuff and then we can start looking at which one will work for initial access obviously if I'm going to do initial access and I know there is unrestricted file upload I can actually upload a PHP reverse shell here and try to see how it's going to handle it even if it does behave funny because of verbs that I can still intercept that request and maybe make some adjustment and still grab me a shell um, this is why I'll shut this video for now I'll be glad to showcase some more cool stuff in the next recording all right see you in the next bye